To thee we come, O Lord, our God.
forever and ever. Amen. Josh, would you proclaim the word? A reading from the book of Isaiah the prophet. First the Lord degraded the land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali, and in the end he has glorified the seaward road, the land west of the Jordan, the district of the Gentiles. Anguish has taken wing, dispelled his darkness, for there is no gloom where now there was distress. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you at the harvest, as people make merry with, when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the road of their taskmaster you have smashed. As at, on the day of Midian, the word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with core courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, and that there will be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and in the same purpose. For it has been reported to me about you, my brothers and sisters, by Chloe's people, that there are rivalries among you. I mean that each of you is saying, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross so that the cross of Christ may not be emptied of its meaning. The word of the Lord. Light has arisen. 
From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. As he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother, Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. Niech będzie pochwalony Jezus Chrystus. Come, and I will make you fishers of men. These words are taken from today's Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> to you, my dear brothers and sisters, disciples of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Last week, I spoke about the mission of Jesus Christ, who we find in the Gospel of Luke, that Jesus was to save that one which was lost. I also spoke about the mission of John the Baptist, who was the forerunner of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today, as we begin to move forward following the baptism of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we again speak of mission with the calling of the first four disciples of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There's a little bit of a discrep discrepancy of actually who was called first. In one gospel account, it was Andrew, who traveling with Philip came to his brother Peter and said, We have found the Messiah. Today we read that Jesus came unto Peter and his brother Andrew. But whatever version we hold in the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we see that our Lord called others to come and to help to spread the gospel of the kingdom of God, Jesus would continue to choose eight others. It's kind of difficult if you are a CEO of a company to alone promote your product. And Christianity is a product of religion. It all 
also is important for those who will help that CEO to believe in the product that is being promoted. Well, we read that Peter and his brother Andrew, the brothers James and John, who were fishermen, who worked as fishermen to make a living, left everything and followed the Lord. The word to be used for this is not only dedication, but also devotion. I also said last week that each and every single one of us are called by our Lord and Savior to promote the faith by which we were baptized and to be a disciple of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ takes devotion and dedication. Discipleship is answering the call of our Lord and Savior when he says, come and follow me. There was something that Jesus saw in Peter and Andrew, James and John. And there is something that our Lord sees with every single one of you. As St. Francis would pray, we are the instruments of his peace. We are called, as Jesus had said, you did not call me, but rather I called you to go out and to bear fruit. So as disciples of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we believe in our faith as we proclaim in the Nicene Constantinople Creed that we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ. And we also proclaim in reading the Gospel that it is through Jesus, who is the perfect transparency, that we see who God truly is. He is not only a loving God, He is a forgiving God, but we are also told that He will be among us when we gather as His disciples as we gather in this church. We all have different backgrounds. We all come from different families. But it is in Christ Jesus that we are brought into one body. During today's Holy Mass, when we offer the wine, and when we offer the bread, we offer it as one body in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The best way that we can be disciples of our Lord is to know His Word and to apply His Word to our daily lives. To be mindful of the Lord's presence and the reason that He has called you. To give honor and glory as Jesus Christ did Himself to our Heavenly Father. To be thankful for the smallest of blessings and realize where that source of blessing comes from. To be able to offer prayer. You know, there are some times that I've called upon people to offer prayer and they wouldn't know how to begin. And I would say, let the Spirit move you. Jesus is not with us physically. But he promised that he would send a helper. A helper by which we have greater understanding, knowledge, counsel. In which we see the word of God becomes more than just print on paper. But becomes a living testament by which we are all brought together. 
In today's second reading of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, we see a division. Paul saw this in the churches that he went to. In Corinthians, Paul says, I mean that each of you is saying, I belong to Paul. Or I belong to Apollos, a great preacher. Or I belong to Cephas, or Peter. Or I belong to Christ. Paul asks the question, is Christ divided? Unfortunately, we see divisions in the congregations of the one faith. Paul asks, was I crucified for you? We affirm when we offer the Nicene Constantinople Creed that it was Jesus Christ who was crucified for your sins, for my sins, for the sins of the world, as the perfect sacrifice once and for all. Paul asked, were you baptized in the name of me? Every single Christian who is baptized at the baptismal font, the words are said, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That is our trademark. That is what we are marked with. Again, Jesus said, You did not choose me, but I chose you. We may sometimes have a little bit of cloudiness of understanding our mission, but I say to you that you have all been called. God knows you better than you, knew, than you know yourself. And as my grandmother would say in Polish, Zawsze pamiętaj, bo Bóg zawsze widzi, which is translated, always remember that God sees everything. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, the disciples of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we have all been called upon to live the gospel. To be witnesses to the gospel. To have others who God brings into our sphere of influence. To reflect our faith unto others. So as Paul would say, so that the cross of Christ might, might not be empty of its meaning. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen.
Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today, as we all gather at the table of the Lord, we offer unto Him prayers of not only thanksgiving and praise, but also our intentions. The response for the intercessions, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray this day for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry and the homeless, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our brothers and sisters of this congregation who are homebound and are in health care facilities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this day for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus, and we give God our thanks for the blessings of doctors, nurses, First responders and healthcare workers, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray this day for all abused and neglected children, as well as all abused and neglected animals, and all those who suffer violence, both here and abroad. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray this day for peace, especially those living in the Ukraine and other parts of the world who are suffering from violence. And we pray for them, for peace and for their willingness and wanting democracy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray this day and give God our thanks for the blessings of all those who serve in our armed forces. And we offer prayer that all those who serve in our armed forces be returned to their families safe and sound. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this day for the Polish National Catholic Church, as well as other churches, and especially for Holy Name of Jesus, that the blessings of God would rest upon all its congregants, in their friends and their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you, dear Lord, for the blessings that you have given unto us every moment of our lives. And we pray that we might be ever faithful and accept your presence within our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Turn back, sinners. Do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, accept this offering and grant to us in your church the grace to engage in a bold and daring evangelism. May we, who attempt great things for you, also expect great things for you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Church, 
to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth, so that we might praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us.
May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are you if you hunger and thirst after righteousness, for you shall be filled.
Take courage. Be stout-hearted. Wait for the Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. <coughs> Lord Jesus, have mercy on us, for we have known your will but faith, failed to do it. By the power of this Holy Eucharist, cleanse us from indifference and fill us with zeal that we, being leading others to knowledge of you, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. For we have known your will but failed to do it. By the power of this Holy Eucharist, cleanse us from indifference and fill us with the zeal that we may bring others to a knowledge of you. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Son, and Holy Spirit, descend upon all of you, and may the grace of our Lord be ever with you. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.